Yeah, so we have uh, now the capability of you know serving multiple GraphQL APIs on top of a single common database that we have, right? So how this kind of works is that we can have a Hasra, which can have its own metadata Postgres database, which in which it will store its own you know metadata, and we can have multiple you know versions of these, which can common, connect to a common database, which will you know hold the data, right? So this allows us to you know kind of uh, build APIs for separate applications, you know, which are, you know, using the same data uh, on, on the same database, right? So I'll just uh, uh, show a quick demo of how this works. Um, so what I have here is, uh, I'll just quickly take you through the setup that I have here. Um, so I have this Docker Compose file, which is, uh, you know, setting up my database for the data. So I have this service called Postgres Data, which is storing all my data. And uh, so this is the schema that I have on this particular data, which is uh, our old uh, friendly Chinook database. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you know, set up two Hasura instances, which will connect to the same database here, uh, but, you know, uh, give out a different API, you know, for, uh, you know, different use case, uh, for apps for different use cases. So uh, I have uh, the, you know, the, data data, I mean, the database with the data set up here, and uh, I have this Docker Compose file, which is setting up my, you know, GraphQL engines. So as you can see, I have this GraphQL engine one, which is a service which connects to its own metadata Postgres here, right? And for the configuration, you can see it, I can pass uh, something called a metadata database URL, which is the, uh, you know, the database that I have set up on this Docker Compose. And then I have something called the actual, uh, you know, the database URL, which is the database that will have the data in it, right? So what I can do is just, you know, run this. And what we should see is a uh, GraphQL engine, you know, set up here. And what I'm going to do is also I'm going to run another, uh, you know, GraphQL engine, which uh, which is a very similar set. I've just changed the names of the services here, right? And as you can see, they are connected to the same, you know, Postgres data database here uh, about the data. Right? So I'm just going to run this. And it all looks good here. We have two versions of GraphQL engine running. And cool. So what I'm going to do is also, you know, run a graphical instances in GraphQL so that you can explore the API that we have. Um, as we see here, we have a query root, but there's no fields in, in it, right? So yeah, so currently the metadata, there's no metadata which has been applied on the Hasura instance. So what we can do is I have this, uh, you know, metadata, which is kind of exported earlier from, uh, I mean, I can, we have the, uh, oops, uh, right. So we have, uh, cool. So this is just a metadata version that I had exported earlier. Uh, and I have a similar one, which I'm calling the, public one, right? So as you can see, the metadata here has data of the album, the tracks, and the artists, right? While I, the internal metadata has data regarding customers, you know, employees that, uh, you know, we have and stuff like that. So I'm just going to quickly go and apply these metadata. So as you can see, I'm applying this on the first, uh, uh, the first uh, Hasura that we have set up. And uh, we have success. And I'm going to apply a different version of the metadata on the second so that I've set up here. And we see success here for that as well. So now if I can go back here and refresh, you can see this is the first Hasura that I had. And now I have these, you know, uh, types in my schema, which I can now query. As you can see, you can just see the albums, the artists, and the yeah, genre related information, the track related information. And I can query this and we get the data. And, uh, we can also run another graphical instance connected to the second graphical instance that we have. And uh, yeah, we see the data uh, related to, you know, uh, the customers, the employees, and, uh, you know, other stuff which we could use to build a, you know, backend app, uh, the internal app for the thing there. And we see the data is being served, right? So yeah, so this is my demo. Um, 
So the, the essence of how this all works is like I had said, right? So each uh, Hasura now kind of has its own metadata database which it connects to, and then it has the possibility to connect to, you know, multiple other data sources as such, which could be currently it's Postgres and like Auker had, you know, demonstrated, we can connect to MySQL as well. So yeah, yeah, that's uh, what my demand. <laughs>